Iris Namaya, and what a week it has been. So yeah, I'm jumping on the YouTube bandwagon and reacting to Logan Paul because he's got himself into some hot water over the last week. You've heard it all, so I'm just going to summarise what has happened for the audience members that haven't actually known what's going on, and then we're going to react to some of the fans that are responding to this backlash. Logan Paul walks into a forest in Japan known for suicide. He's like, oh, we're just going to go ghost hunting in a forest known for people to commit suicide. Nothing bad is going to happen. And at no point did anyone look at him and say, Logan, we might be doing something wrong. It might be a bad idea, so no one stopped him at all. Everyone was like, yes, let's go into the suicide forest. Let's go off trail where you're not allowed to go and find someone who has killed themselves, unfortunately, and film them. Film them as close as my camera is to me. That's how bad it was. He just, dis he just disrespects it. Um, he seems very disingenuine when he's talking about how bad suicide is. He he makes a mockery of it. I don't know how people would react when seeing a dead body. I I understand that he may have laughed it off. He may have felt uncomfortable, and that's why he is um, acting the way he is. I don't know. And at no point he t he thought to turn off the camera. That's the worst thing, and it's probably just for views. You know film this person, blur them out, get views, don't you? Puts it in the thumbnail, puts a dead person in the thumbnail for you to click on that video. It is literally clickbait. He posts it on YouTube, he gets, he gets, I don't know, six, I don't know, I think it was three million or six million or whatever. He posts it to his 15 million fans and before it reached the outer circle of people that weren't his fans, his fans were liking the video. The like to dislike ratio was through the roof. Like, oh, 300,000 people liked it or something. I don't know. It wasn't like, oh, it's controversial until the people that weren't his fans found the video. Until then, uh, the video was still up and then he took it down, obviously, because of the backlash between like celebrities and um, other YouTubers. He then deletes it and puts an apology on Twitter and somehow makes it all about him and his passion for filmmaking or whatever and it just sounds like he doesn't care he didn't apologize for filming the dead body he was he was basically apologizing for the backlash that he had caused and he didn't apologize to the family he then makes another move by making a youtube video apologizing and it's very different to his apology on twitter he doesn't seem as cocky he doesn't seem he well he knows what is done now he knows that he's done wrong and he tells his fans that he has done wrong and i guess he kind of won didn't he he, he won he started off making this video to get views so he get he gets about six million on that or something he deletes it and then gets another video to 24 million i think i think it's at 24 million at the moment anyway so we are just going to react to some of the fan responses and these children that don't understand what is happening even logan himself in his second apology said for my fans who are defending my actions please don't they do not deserve to be defended so yeah let's just dive right into this whole shenanigan i'm i'm glad you're up to date with everything if you didn't know because i'm a japanese maverick i deserve to have a platform and the guy who died should be lucky to be in Logan Paul's vlogs. I'd do anything, even that, to be in Logan Paul's vlogs because you get recognized by a lot of people. He is saying that he is going to, he, he would kill himself to be in Logan Paul's vlogs because of the recognition. I don't think the family that um, you have would appreciate that. Also, this person that you're kind of mocking in the forest, he's lucky to be in Logan Paul's videos. Um, he was probably going through a lot. He was probably going through a lot of things in his personal life that led him to believe that he should no longer be on this earth. And this person who's supporting Logan 
is like, oh, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter about this person because Logan Paul is this great influencer who has a huge following of these mindless children. They don't understand. They don't understand what it's like. Does he know what it's like to be suicidal? I don't, I don't know if he does, but I think if he would, he'd be more sensitive on the subject. First of all, this is for Logan Paul. I'm gonna... Is, is he crying? What is he crying about? Something that he has done has caused backlash, and this kid is crying over it because his favourite person in the world is going through backlash. This is the Logan Paul Comedy Shorts Gamer. PewDiePie, everyone has been bullying Logan Paul for the past couple of days for what he did. Basically, if there's any YouTubers who are bullying Logan Paul who watch this, okay, I am, I am sick of this. He's a bullying Logan Paul for something he didn't mean to do. He didn't mean to go and zoom in on the body. He didn't mean to zoom into the body. He didn't mean to, okay? Even if he didn't mean to, there is a thing called editing. Now, as a film student, I know a bit about editing. You can take out bits that you don't want in the video. If you didn't mean to zoom into the body, why is it still in the video? Because he does edit his, well, he sends it off to someone apparently, and they edit it. And no one thought that it was wrong. It's not the fact that he didn't mean to. He did mean to. That's why it's still in the video. It's like... You you would probably do the same thing without even knowing. Come in, Shorts Gamer. Oh, I saw a dead body, but I put my camera down. I wouldn't go into a forest that was known for suicide, go off trail when you know it's restricted, zoom into a body, make jokes about it. I understand that, like I said before, I understand that it may have been uncomfortable and he laughed it off, okay. But you do not keep it in your video. He had it edited, put on YouTube, and for the, I don't know, first few hours of it being online until people with common sense understood that it was disrespectful and rude to the person that he was filming and the person's family. He has 15 million subscribers and most of them are little kids. Little kids that don't understand, don't understand what it's like to be an adult, don't understand what people can go through later on in life, no one would put it up on a YouTube channel, especially if you have a lot of kids just watching your every move. Sickos. He's gonna bully Logan Paul for something he didn't mean to do. He, he did mean to do it. That's why it's still in, that's why it was still in the video when it got put up. He could have turned off the camera and explained what happened, and then gave his advice to people going through similar situations as the person in the video. I'm gonna get straight to the point. Recently on Twitter, everyone's been going at Logan for filming the dead body in the suicide forest in Japan. Well, first of all, his video, the intention of his video was to go and stay in that forest, if Logan hadn't warned us about this or done something about it or contacted authorities, he would not even be able to stay in that forest knowing there was a dead body literally a mile away from him. If you if he just spotted it in the middle while he was vlogging, he would have had to say something or else you would have just seen him freeze and then You can edit a video. You do not have to keep everything that you go through in the video. I do it all the time. If something happens in the video that I do not want to be shown to the entire world, I'm going to edit it out. And people need to stop going after him. You can look on YouTube and find so much worse stuff than what he's done. You can, yes. I understand, but he is the poster child for YouTube. He is one of the biggest channels on YouTube. He is growing rapidly, and the majority of his fan base is children. He cannot 
do this kind of stuff because it makes children think it's okay to do. It's not okay to film dead bodies and laugh about it. So there's this huge thing going on about Logan Paul and how he found a dead body in a suicide forest in Japan. Now, he's been getting so much hate about this, and yeah, it is annoying and disgusting to zoom up on a dead body. So stop there. You realise that it's disgusting and horrible to zoom into a dead body. That's that's what he did though. It's about him. He made a video apologizing and he tweeted apologizing. Um the tweet was useless. It didn't really apologize for what he did because he's such a big YouTuber. He deleted it and is sorry. I mean, he if no one backlashed, it would still be up. Yeah, well, we'll 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 all forget about it, and uh, and all of his subscribers will, and he'll I'm sure he'll gain subscribers. But this, all these children, defending him, it's ju it's just a it's just a big disappointment, and that's all I have for today. That's all I have. Bye. <laughs>